Hey there, Mark Bowden here, Michael Leckie with Korea Ask Me Anything. Here's a question that came in. I was in a situation where I didn't like my circumstances and I was applying for lots of jobs. The strange thing was that as soon as I had even offers for interviews, it boosted my self-worth. Constantly applying for jobs made me assert my skill set with every job I applied for. It kept me in control, kept my confidence up and regularly affirmed my skills and abilities. Am I alone in this? What else would you do if you were in my situation? Okay, I mean, interesting question there. I'm not sure even whether it's a, a, a question or a, or, a, or a statement with a little question at the end or I'm not sure what that is. Michael, uh, make of that what you will and then I'll come in and tie it in a neat little bow and then we'll be out. What do you think? All right, let me see what I can do with this. We can conjure up. Um, so here's what it made me think of, actually. And at first I read this, I wasn't quite sure it was going, but I, I think what, what's being asked for there is, is this a good strategy to make me feel better about my current circumstances to be looking at other circumstances? Uh, so I had a, a good friend and colleague I worked for for many years, Paul Kusha, very smart guy and did a lot of great work with our clients in the coaching space. And he would tell all of his senior leader clients, and this like applies to anyone, you need to re-up for your job about once every three, maybe to four years. And by that, he meant you need to go out, you need to interview legitimately, see what's out there. Even if you're completely happy or if you're unhappy, it doesn't matter, go out and see what's out there and legitimately interview. He said, because there's probably a couple of things that are going to happen. One is you might find that thing that's best for you next and move faster, farther in your career. He said, but very often what happens is what it reinforces to you or helps you realize is that things are pretty good right here and there's more about what you can do. And I was having a conversation today with um, a woman who's also a, a great uh, executive coach named Elizabeth, Elizabeth Moran. You can find her book Forward online now. Uh, and she talks about kind of radical self-responsibility. And she says, anytime something like disastrous happens to me, I'm still looking at what was my contribution to the problem? How did I help bring that about? What about my ego or my needs or whatever it may be about my character brought this about? And so I think that that's another thing that you can think about is you are um, in a situation where you don't like the circumstances. Applying for other jobs can be helpful to get that boost, but also do that work. Do, do the hard work uh, of finding out what is my contribution to these circumstances not being so favorable right now, and where am I a part of the pattern? Because like it or not, we're always a part of the pattern of our lives. And while there are outside influences that affect us, the ones that we can control are the patterns that we own. That's the only thing we can shift. We can't shift the world around us, but we can shift us within the world. Those are the two things that come to mind for me. Anything you want to add to that or build upon there, Mark? Yeah, well, thanks for going through that, because it means I actually have an answer to that as you've, <laughs> as you've pass that out for me it strikes me or what i make out of this is that um this can be part of your growth strategy your personal professional growth strategy is that every few years you put yourself in the market in order to test the theories that you have here's some of the theories you might be getting like three four five years into a into a role. You know what? They don't really appreciate, and I'm worth much more than this. And they, this is a terrible place to work. And everything out there is fantastic. And they'd have me at the drop of a hat. If I went out into the market, they'd have me at the drop of a hat. Or you might be, this might be some of your theories. You know what? I, I got to stay here because nobody will have me. I'm not skilled enough. Um, like they're just keeping me on here just because they like me, not because I'm any good at this. And like, there's all kinds of theories that you could have, and that's fine. But, but, and, and this is the risk part. This is the bravery part is then going, I'm going to test that. And I'm going to really properly test it as, as, as that individual was telling you, Michael, is that's a real test. Legitimately put yourself out there, legitimately interview, and now see what happens to your theories, be they positive and negative about you, about them, about us. And from that, you're going to get knowledge, you know, something that is, is close to some kind of fact, yeah, knowledge. And from that, you get, might get a renewed wisdom about where you are right now and, and, and where you are in your 
career? I think it's a really, uh, that turned out to be a great, a, a great question, I think. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't fully understand it at the start. And, and now we're, we're a few minutes later uh, and I think I know what I'm talking about. So I, I like that question. <laughs> uh, I like that question very much. Look, if you've got, uh, if you've got questions for us uh, about any point you are in your uh, career, uh, Michael Leckie, Mark Bowden, ask me anything. You'll find us all over the internet, but of course, you're going to go to michaellecky.com forward slash ask. That's a great place to just put your question in anonymously, or you can tell us who you are. <laughs>